Hey, what is up my friends? So for the past few weeks, I have been using Webflow and I have to say, it's awesome. So if you don't know what Webflow is, um, basically it's a tool that allows you to design and uh, code websites uh, visually. You can actually kind of think of it like a, a new way to code because um, instead of writing out uh, the HTML and CSS, uh, you're basically dragging and dropping like divs and images and all the HTML structure. And then you would add classes to that structure and then style it the way you want. Just as if you were to do that all by hand, typing it all out. And then once you uh, design the site from there, you can e either publish it using Webflow's hosting, uh, which is just a few clicks to get a site up, or you can actually export the HTML, CSS, and all the assets that go along with it. So for the past several years, I've been doing everything myself. I've been designing it myself and then I would um, hand code it um, and then publish it wherever uh, using like GitHub pages or media temple or um, wh wherever. Uh, and when I would stumble across tools like Webflow, I naively just brushed them off thinking that like the code quality wasn't great or that for whatever reason I needed to do it myself in order to make sure that it's good enough. But as I've been using Webflow more and more, I have to say that it is a really, really fantastic tool. And in this video, I wanna give you uh, five reasons that I am sold on Webflow. So reason number one is focus. So building a website is a big task. There's the design side of things, and then there's the code side of things, and then there's, I, I would consider like launching and hosting and all that kind of separate from the code. It's pretty much intertwined, but um, I always viewed it as three distinct uh, steps. So uh, building or designing, coding, and launching. You see, when I first started out um, learning how to code, it was because my goal was to um, see my ideas and my uh, designs live on the internet. I wanted to uh, share what I was working on and be able to just launch any idea I had. Um, so my goal was to make stuff and ship it. So Webflow basically allows me to do the exact same thing that I was doing before. Um, but instead of designing and coding and launching a site, uh, because I don't have to do all of those steps and instead I can just uh, design and sketch and bring it in and recreate it in Webflow, or I can just uh, design right in Webflow itself. Uh, because of that, I can focus on the design side of things and still achieve the same result of having my idea launched um, without having to worry about like the code or the hosting or any of that sort of thing. And because of the two thirds of the pie I, was, I don't have to do myself, um, I can put 100% of my focus on where I feel I'm best at in the design. I can really spend time uh, thinking through everything and making sure like the flow is correct and uh, the design is the best it could be. Um, and I'm allowed to do that because I don't have to uh, spend time doing the other stuff. So basically it, it just allows me to focus. All right, reason number two is speed. So this one may just be um, an issue I had uh, simply because I'm more of a, a designer than a coder. Like obviously I know both and I can do both, but whenever I would sit down to uh, code a site, it would just take me a good chunk of time uh, simply because uh, regardless of how many sites I coded, uh, I just could not hold everything in my brain. So there was um, so many times where I just had to stop and look up uh, one thing or another in order to remember how to implement it correctly. And that's not even mentioning the amount of time it took to um, get my coding environment set up, um, as well as actually like physically typing everything out. But just last week I was able to um, design code and launch my new site uh, watchmepractice.co in uh, just over an hour. Whereas if I designed and coded it uh, myself by hand, um, I probably would be looking at either a half day or a full day, if not more, uh, depending on how complex everything was. All right, reason number three is quality. So this is where me and Webflow clicked. I had always assumed tools like these that write the code for you just um, ultimately uh, write garbage code, write spaghetti code that's really 
uh, messy and ugly to look at. And if I wanted to have it done and done correctly, I had to do everything myself. But luckily that is not the case with Webflow. Webflow uh, writes very clean and semantic code um, that honestly is probably written better than if I were to try to do it myself. So you can be sure when you create a site in Webflow that it's gonna spit out very semantic code and it's all gonna be structured exactly how it should be, which is a big relief because that uh, brings you back to uh, points number one and two and you can focus on the design um, without having to think about the code and uh, you can just do it a whole lot faster. All right, so reason number four that I love Webflow is that it is a fantastic tool for prototyping and uh, working with developers. So this is really, really powerful for designers because uh, handing off a uh, actual working prototype of what the site should look like, how everything should interact together is so much better than handing off a static like sketch file, for example, because you can actually see how everything looks and feels and works. And that allows you to spot any potential issues that you need to fix. And all of this, of course, gets you to the end goal of getting your site launched um, much, much quicker. So for example, I work as a designer at a Coach with coach.com if you wanna check it out. But over the past few weeks, I've been redesigning uh, the student experience of the Coach platform. And the awesome thing is, uh, even though we aren't going to use uh, the code that Webflow spits out for this, um, it still allowed me to show them um, exactly what I think the site should look and feel and flow like. And because I was using Webflow, uh, they actually give you a, a subdomain you can publish your site on. So uh, while I was working on all these designs, I was actually able to share it with the coach team and we were able to collaborate and uh, I think because of all of that, it just made the, the end product that much better. All right, so reason number five that uh, I am sold on Webflow is because of the animations and interactions. So I, for one, have never ever been great at writing um, animations and interactions um, by hand. For example, creating a little um, header that slides in after you pass a certain point on the page. All of that I would spend time looking through Stack Overflow or on CSS Tricks or um, searching around to figure out how I could implement that. But Webflow made it super, super easy to do all that and I was able to actually do it in uh, just a few clicks. I, I absolutely love it. All right, and then there's uh, one other reason that I love Webflow, um, but I didn't add this to the official uh, list because I haven't used it too much, so um, I don't know the extent of it, but the uh, Webflow CMS uh, from the little I've used it is, it's awesome. So before I would use WordPress for pretty much any site that I needed dynamic content on or a uh, content management system, which of course worked great, WordPress is awesome. But for me creating a site in WordPress and um, actually setting up MAMP and like all the stuff I needed to actually code um, a WordPress site, a custom WordPress site uh, would take me much, much longer than writing a static site, which already took me a good chunk of time. But using uh, the Webflow CMS, I was able to set up uh, watchmepractice.co um, with the past live streams and all the dynamic content um, every time I add a new post in no time at all. It, it's pretty crazy how quickly I was able to do it. Now I'm sure there are limitations to it uh, when comparing it to WordPress, obviously, but I have yet to run into uh, any instances uh, where I am stuck and I can't do something. Uh, but from the little I've used it, the CMS is super, super powerful. I think there's gonna be a lot that like I can do with it. So yeah, overall, I absolutely love Webflow. I think it is a super powerful tool that is going to allow me to do a lot of awesome stuff. Um, and I say that because um, instead of spending all the time and effort um, hand coding stuff and worrying about all the intricacies that go into that, I can actually just uh, let Webflow do the heavy lifting on that. And I can actually put my focus where it needs to be, um, which is the design and the actual idea and everything. Yeah, Webflow is super awesome. I highly recommend uh, checking it out. 
I know for me at least, it's going to change a lot of things, I believe. There's a lot of things that I wanna do in 2017, and I actually think I might be able to achieve all of them um, by allowing Webflow to do uh, the heavy lifting. All right, my friends, that is all for this one. If you happen to use Webflow, I would love to hear your um, thoughts and experiences on it. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think of it. But yeah, I hope you have a uh, fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,